Hi, I'm Ben from The Engine Co, and this is a quick guide on getting started with Loom on Windows. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, go to the engine.co site and hit Downloads, and then download the Windows build of Loom CLI. I've already downloaded it, so to save some time, I'll just go ahead and launch that installer and uh, run it. And that will install and set up uh, the CLI, which is the command line tool that you use to work with Loom. All right, so that's all set. So let's just bring up the command prompt by typing CMD in our start menu. And uh, now we can see if we have Loom installed. Great, so it reports uh, version 10387, which is the version that we downloaded. And now I'm gonna go to the desktop and make a new game. And uh, I can see that in Explorer and see that I have created a game. And I can even go in there and look at some of the source code. So let's just do that real quick using Sublime Text 2, my favorite text editor. So let's go ahead and run the game. Oops, I'm in the right path. And it want me to log in first time just to download the latest Loom SDK. And uh, while that's downloading, anytime that there is a um, update to Loom, you can use, do Loom use latest to get the latest stable version, or Loom use latest dash dash firehose to get the latest development version. So it's installed uh, Sprint 22, and here we are with a little Hello Loom application. And uh, just to make sure everything was working, let's do a little live code change. And uh, we'll see that it's recompiled and updated the app. So. Fantastic, and we just type quit with a period in front of it to quit the application. And that's it, you're up and running with Loom and you can start scripting away. Uh, thanks for listening.